They're known as GLP-1s, short for glucagon-like peptide 1, but commonly recognized as drugs like Ocempic, Wegovy, and Trulicity. Developed in the 1980s, they were originally designed to control blood sugar for diabetes patients. But these patients started reporting something doctors didn't expect. They weren't just eating less, they were drinking less too. A lot of people talked about the food noise also being the alcohol noise, right? And so when they started to notice that they just weren't drinking as much wine or they just weren't drinking as much beer, they kind of were laughing about it, but uh, they started doing some of these preliminary studies on it. HealthLink reached out to WSU pharmacotherapy professor Nicole Rodin, who specializes in substance use disorders. She says researchers began studying these reports seriously, even analyzing Reddit posts where users shared their experiences. So that starts that, I guess, pilot data to actually dive deeper into this. So since then, we've been able to find more research on it. Rodin notes that GLP-1 receptors are located throughout the body, including the pancreas, liver, and our brain, where the receptors affect feeling full after eating. They're also seeing that when people do partake in substance use, whether that's alcohol, cocaine, something else, um, there is some early reports to say that it's that satiety that might be impacting it. So they don't feel like they need to binge at that moment. Rodin says the discovery shows promise for treating drug addiction, even smoking. Currently, the FDA has not approved GLP-1 medications for addiction treatment, and clinical trials are still in the early stages. So I don't see this being an overnight sensation or phenomena. Um, with that being said, I think especially if you're already indicated for diabetes or obesity and you're going to be using these medications anyways, it could be an added benefit if that is one of your goals. Rodin estimates it could be five to seven years before these drugs are specifically approved to treat substance use disorders. Researchers emphasize that addiction treatment is not one size fits all, and even if approved, these medications would likely be used alongside other therapies rather than a standalone solution. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.